I stand for open questioning of authorities. I stand for honesty, fact-based reasoning, and debate. I oppose all censorship, including hate speech laws. I reject name-calling and insults. I'm Bill Warner. Well, the Southern Poverty Law Center came to Nashville, Tennessee at the invitation of the Jewish Federation, and they teamed up to have a hate fest about hate. Now, the Southern Poverty Law Center is a civil rights hate monitor that is the supreme judge of all social morality. They're the number one source for the hate list used by Facebook, Google, Twitter, YouTube, and Amazon. I made this list, by the way, years ago. How'd I make the list? Repeating the Quran and the Sunnah of Muhammad. Now, here in Middle Tennessee, there's a few others that have been tagged by the Southern Poverty Law Center as racist, hater, bigot, Islamophobes. We have, for instance, a lobbyist down at the legislature. She's been there for over 30 years. We have a professor who ran for mayor and finished second. She, too, was a hater, racist, bigot, Islamophobe, a retired cop, and a Christian advocate for Israel. So these are the kind of people that we find on the hate list. But the Southern Poverty Law Center also enforces Sharia laws, which means that those who are apostates from Islam cannot discuss why they left Islam. People such as Aaron Hersi Ali, Nani Darwish, Annie Cyrus. So how do you get on the Southern Poverty Law Center list? Well, you are chosen. You can't choose to join it, but they'll choose you. So it's by decree. There's no due process. There's no redress. If you're on there and there's mistakes, there's no one to talk to, and they won't listen to you anyway. It is his stated purpose to shame and drive out of business people such as myself. Now, why are we actually being persecuted? Because of our political ideas. It's a point of view thing that they disagree with. Now, the billionaire Democrats who run Google, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Amazon agree with them and blacklist people such as myself and try to hinder us as much as they can. Now, here's the big picture. This is not about hate. It's about freedom of speech, critical thought, and freedom of ideas. We're called anti-Muslim, but for instance, I never discuss Muslims. I only discuss Quran, Surah, Hadith. I discuss factual truths, and for this, I'm called a racist, hater, bigot, Islamophobe. That's one word, by the way. Now, these are the people that the Jewish Federation supports and teams up with. Now, the Federation used to say they were for civil discourse, but I don't see much evidence of that here. Both the Federation and the Southern Poverty Law Center are actually totalitarians who are professionally ignorant about the Islamic doctrine of the Jew and the Christian. Now, it's not just the Jews. I don't want to pick on them too much because, hey, the Christians are just as bad. The Christians who are apologists for Islam are just like the Federation Jews. They are professionally ignorant. They know less about Islam than you'd learn by reading the Yahoo News headlines for a month's time. They don't even know that there is an Islamic doctrine of Jew hatred. And the Christians, they deny that there's persecution of Christians, which is sort of odd, since the largest persecuted group demographically in the world are Christians. But they are in a state of denial. The real tragedy is, is we're not using fact-based reasoning. Let me give you an example. As a scientist, I've measured the textual doctrine of, of Jew hatred found in the Quran, the Sirah, and the Hadith, and there's more Jew hatred there than there is in Hitler's Mein Kampf. But no self-respecting person who's in the Federation can listen to me talk about this because I'm a racist, hater, bigot, Islamophobe. It goes worse than this. It's not just that I personally will contaminate the people in the Federation, but this is forbidden knowledge. If you know what I know, you will become contaminated. So then your only choice is to think what you want, but you just can't say it. It's a peculiar doctrine. Knowledge is evil, facts are evil, but ignorance, it's virtuous. Now the Southern Poverty Law Center likes to say that rejecting diversity is bigotry, but their diversity is about language and skin color. Diversity of thought, whoa, that is what's forbidden. That will put you on the hate list. So only the thoughts allowed by the Southern Poverty Law Center and the Federation points of view are allowed to be discussed. I say different. I say those who will not discuss ideas are bigots, and those who are afraid to speak, they're cowards. Here's a tragedy. When I was in Europe recently, I did an hour's interview on an extensive documentary about the new anti-Semitism in Europe. I spoke, of course, upon how the Islamic doctrine drives this new anti-Semitism, or really, it's Jew hatred. But no one in the Federation can watch this and learn because why? They would be contaminated and they would be racist, hater, bigots, Islamophobes. You see, the facts don't matter. Truth and facts, they're hate speech. Freedom of speech and freedom of ideas, that's hate speech. It is, if the victim is offended, then what is said is bigotry. But what if it's true? Doesn't matter. It's hate speech. 
Now, the Southern Poverty Law Center and the Federation say that I am morally reprehensible. I should be shunned, suppressed. But you know, I say differently. I say, let us reason together. I won't call you names. I won't insult you. Nor will I insist that my morals are better than yours or that yours are worse than mine. I will say this. My arguments would be better than yours because they are fact-based. Let me give you an example of something we could discuss over a cup of coffee. I maintain that there is no unmitigated good for the kafir found in the Quran, the Sirah, and the Hadith. Can any member of the Southern Poverty Law Center of the Federation debate this? I doubt it. The apologists for Islam only seem to know nice Muslims. They don't know anything about Allah and Muhammad. They don't know Sunnah from Tuna. But prove me wrong. Get together with me and see if we can have a discussion. Now here's the thing. I know people here in Nashville who are members of the Federation. And I know victims of the SPLC of character assassination. I have news for you. Both the Federation and those who are victims of the SPLC are good moral people. They don't lie, they don't cheat, they don't steal. The difference is not one of morality, the difference is one of knowledge. I'll leave you with one little piece of knowledge from the book of Isaiah in the Hebrew Bible. Your destroyers shall emerge from within your midst. Think about what I've told you. Think about fact-based reasoning. Don't you think that's better than prejudicial reasoning? Thank you.